All right, Shalom. It's the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai, Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai, Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Kohalayim la Abanawa Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Marakal Kodesh. And double honors to the apostles. And that was a great millstone of well, peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect. The Bayath, Dawada, the house of David. We're going to entitle this one. We walk by faith, not by sight. Now I have this quick clip from uh, the book of Eli, right? Because we know what time we're living in. We're living in a time of prophecy. This is 2020, the year of prophecy, right? And we see all the things that are happening. So you have to, your faith has to be extremely strong in the times that we are in or heading into, okay? Because all hell is about to break loose in this place, man. All right, all hell is about to break loose in this place. The RFID microchip is about to be, uh, is going to get implemented. Ultimately, it will be implemented, man. It will be mandatory. All right, okay. You see all the, you see the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the earthquakes in diverse places, the uproars of people, as the Lord Yahweh Shai spoke about. All right, you see all of these things going on, man. Okay, uh, <laughs> the new year or the so-called new year came in and boom prophecies was like a bang man okay you know you got this coronavirus going on right now you got all things happening right now man all right so you know without further ado you know let's just get into the clip then we're gonna go into the definition of faith then we got scriptures okay so here it is right here So right there, she's asking him, she said, you've been walking for over 30 years. And she says, you know, she asked him, he said, "We walk, I walk by faith, not by sight. She asked him, what, what, what do you mean by that? And he's like, you know, you just, <laughs> he explained it to her, he broke it down to her, you know? And she, she really couldn't really get it, you know? But let's go here to the meaning of faith. Let me ask some scriptures, brother, and I'm out of here. All right, this is faith. It says the duty of fulfilling one's trust, right? And the trust that we have is in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That's the trust. All right. Faith, belief, trust, confidence, pledge. All right. Trust, faith, confidence, reliance. All right. Belief to trust. Okay. Belief. And that's what we have. Because faith, faith is a uh, uh, is another word for uh belief, man. Okay, faith is synonymous with hope. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we have, you know. Especially brothers who are out there on them highways and byways pushing this truth to the round the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why we just, hey, man, we don't even worry about it, man. It is what it is. Okay, you know, just like the apostles. The apostles, uh, when when Yahweh Shai left, right when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, their faith, they wasn't. They had to be built up in faith. Let's just say that I have a few scriptures. I'll go into it. I'll show you. All right, but without further ado, let's go to the scriptures. Okay, let's get that out of there. Let's go here. So this is uh, Deuteronomy thirty-two and twenty. It says, and he said, I will hide my face from them, right? Talking about Yahweh said he was going to hide his face from us, right? We wasn't going to be able to call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Now, it says, I will say what they're in. It says, I will see what they're in shall be, for they are a very forward generation, right? For they are a very forward generation. Children of children in whom is no faith, right? And that's two thirds of our people. Two thirds of our people have no faith, but the men, the men are on the highways and byways, they're built up, and, and they should be built up and rooted in the faith. They see all the prophecies and all these things going on. You should be rooted up and built up in the faith, man. You should be praying and, and, and praying for more faith, man. Asking the Most High for more faith. Asking Yahweh, Yahweh Shai for more faith, man. 
Okay? Because all the things that are going on in front of your face, man. And this is it's evident, man. Isn't it not? You see? These prophecies are unfolding. Okay? So this is Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up which is lifted up is not upright in him and that's talking about esau all right because he's a wicked wicked man he's a devil he's a demon okay it says but the just shall live by faith right and the, the just shall live by faith and that means the righteous just means righteous they should live by faith okay now this is where i wanted to get to right here we um where yahweh shai was speaking to uh the disciples Right, he was speaking to the disciples. Now I'm gonna go into this scripture, right? I'm gonna go up to the beginning of it. All right, let's go into the full beginning of it. I'm gonna start up a little bit. I'm gonna start up at verse. Uh, I'm gonna start up at verse. Uh, uh, Salate, brothers, it's from work. I'm gonna start up at. Uh, At verse, I'll start at verse 22. All right, so this is Matthew 6 and 22. It says, The light of the body is the eye. If, there, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in that is in thee be darkness, how great is the is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. And ye cannot serve the most high in mammon, right? It says therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Now this Yahweh Shai talking to him. He's saying, Take no thought for your life, man. You know? For what you shall eat or what you shall drink. Don't worry about that. Put that all in the most high's hands. That's faith. Okay? You know? It's faith. This is like when this this bit this pretty much is pretty much you can say uh when martial law breaks out or when uh or when all hell breaks loose, you have to have faith in the most high. The most high is gonna feed you. The most high is gonna uh uh give you a drink okay especially if you've done right by the most high he gonna take care of you don't worry about anything else man okay don't worry about anything else all right put your trust in your Hashem all right it says neither yet for your body what ye shall put on is it not is it not the life more than meat and the body than remnant and raiment salakia says behold the fowls of the air for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather un into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. See, Yahweh Shai is saying, yeah, the heavenly Father feedeth them, man. Okay? He says, are you not much better than they? He said, are you not much better than they? He's asking them a question. And says, which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spit. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. It says, wherefore, if the most high so clothed the grass of the field, right, when it rains, right, and you got the dew that come up from the midst of the earth, right, and that, and that waters the field, okay, and then you got rain when he drops the rain down on it and helps the grass grow, all right, it says, which day is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Or ye, it says, oh ye of little faith. And that's what he's telling me. He said, oh ye of little faith, man. That's why you got to have faith. He says, oh ye of little faith. And he's asking them a question. He said, oh, oh ye of little faith. You have a little faith. This is, this is basically when Yahweh Shai was teaching them the prayer in Matthew, the sixth chapter. All right. It says, therefore, take no thought saying what ye shall, uh, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or whither, uh, wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth 
ye have need of all things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the for tomorrow shall Shalakia, take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is, is the evil thereof. So there you have it, man. Okay? So let's go back. Let's put the word faith back in. I just wanted to bring that out, man. Show you. Now, what was I? Matthew the eighth. Matthew the eighth chapter. Matthew the eighth chapter, the tenth verse. It says, When Yahweh Shai heard it, he marveled and said to them that follow, Verily, which truly, which means truly, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Because two thirds of our people, they don't have no faith. You, as you can see, man, when we out there on the highways and byways, we talking to them Jakes, we talking to those Israelites, right? They just, they go, man, you know, we don't we don't have we don't believe that, man. We, you know, that's what they say, man. A lot of them say they, a lot of them entertain or what you call so called entertain it, listen to what we have to say, and they still don't get it. Why? Because they don't have faith. Really, ultimately, because the Most High don't want them right now. There's only elect of elect that the Most High wants. Right, while two thirds of them, their eyes are blind, they can't see, their ears are dull, they can't hear. Okay, all right. See, you see, Yahweh said it to him again here in Matthew the eighth chapter, the twenty sixth verse. This is when he was out on, the, out on the sea in the ship. All right, and he said, and he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful? He, he, he talking to the disciples. He said, Why, why are ye fearful? Oh, ye of little faith, asking him a question again. Then he arose and rebuked the winds in the sea. And there was a great calm, right? He calmed everything down because Yahweh Shai had control over the elements, okay? You see? He had control over the elements, so he calmed it down. All right, this is another good one in Matthew, the ninth chapter, the second verse. It says, And he behold that they brought to him a man sick of palsy, laying on a bed, and Yahweh Shai seeing their faith, right? Yahweh Shai seen, he seen, he seen right through him, he seen their faith, Okay? And he said, he said unto the, unto the sick of the palsy, son, be of good cheer. Thy sins, thy sins be forgiven thee. He said, thy sins be forgiven thee. He's seen their faith, man. Okay? This is all about faith. What we do, right? What we do every weekend and what we do throughout the week is all about faith. It's all faith, man. Okay? It's all faith. And that's why we and that's why we go out there on them highways and byways, man. All right. Scripture said, "For many are called, but few are chosen." You see. Let's see this here. All right, Matthew nine and twenty two. It says, "But Yahweh Shai." It says, "But Yahweh Shai turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, "Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith have made thee whole." He said, "Thy faith have made thee whole." And the woman was made whole from that, from that hour. You see, Matthew 9 and 29, it says, Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. See, see, listen, man, like I said, man, faith is, faith is the substance of things hoped for, man. You know, a lot of the things that Yahweh Shai was doing, he seen, he seen faith and he had abundance of faith himself, man. Even though he knew he was about to be put up on a cross and die for the nation of Israel, his faith was so, so, so high, man. See the miracles that he was doing, you know? The things that he was doing, the people that he was healing. Okay, that's that's faith. Alright? Because he believed. He was he was the he was the savior. He is the savior. There's no there's no way around this thing, man. No matter who, who, no matter uh, whatever our people may say, or they, there is no, you know, who, who they who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. They ignorantly call him Jesus Christ, by the way. All right, his real name is Yahweh Shai. All right, they'll say, okay, he never existed. Well, the history speaks that he existed. All right, history speaks that he existed. There's no way around history. You can't debunk or debate or debate history. It is what it is. All right. Okay, Matthew 14 and 31, it says, And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, where, wherefore doest thou, didst thou doubt? Right, now this is when uh, Peter 
was walking out on the walking out on the water, and he fell and he and he, he he lost sight of his faith, right? And he and he ended up pretty much falling into the while falling into the water because he was walking on the water, he was walking on it, man, because he was his faith was he was determined his faith, you know, and then Yahushai came over, stretched his hand to him, right, and pulled him up. You see? Because he seen Yahweh Shai walking on the oak. He seen Yahweh Shai walking on water, man. They were like, oh, snap. <laughs> you know, when they seen that, man. You know? So Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 28th verse, verse, it says, then, it says, then Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, but it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that out, from that very hour. So Yahweh Shai was pulling off mass amounts of miracles, man. You got these guys out here that saying Yahweh Shai never did no miracles, man. Yeah, you out your damn mind. You better read them scriptures and you better read them with understanding because Yahweh Shai did a lot of miracles, man. And there's miracles that I ain't even mentioned in these books, man. That he did many and mass amounts of more miracles that he did, and he's, they can't even mention it. All right. So you guys disrespecting the Lord, you better get your shit together, okay? But get your shit together. The Lord did. The Lord did a lot of things, man. You ungrateful ass Israelites, okay? You ungrateful ass Israelites. All right. Especially the ones that are circumcision. Especially the ones that that are in the know. You should be a damn shame to yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. And the most high gonna take care of you. Alright? The most high gonna the most high hear everything you done said. Disrespecting the Lord, alright? Okay? Disrespecting his son. Alright? Matthew 16 and 8. It says, Which when Yahweh Shai perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves? <laughs> He's talking to the scribes and the Pharisees. <laughs> He's talking to the scribes and the Pharisees. Right? He says, because you have brought no... Actually, no, Salakia. He's talking to the disciples. Right here, Salakia. He's talking to the disciples. I thought. He says, because you have brought no bread. Right? Because they were reasoning among themselves. They were talking and Yahweh Shai already knew their thoughts already. You know? But uh, he says, because you have brought no bread? Question. He's a question. You know? Yahweh Shai always... He ends things off with a... He, end, he ended things off with a question. To see if they was going to come back with an answer. You know? Because he already had the answer when they... He already had the answer in his mind that they was going to come back with their answer. Okay? Matthew 17 and 20, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, because, ye, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto the mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and ye shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. That's why this thing is all about faith. Alright? It's all about faith. Alright? So let me skip some of these down here because... Let's go here. Uh, Alright, let's do... Let's do let's do Mark ten and fifty two. It says, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go thy way; thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight, and followed Yahweh Shai in the way. All right, Mark eleven and twenty two. And Yahweh Shai answering and saying unto them, I have have faith in the Most High. That's what he said. I have faith in the Most High. It says, Luke five and twenty. It says, and when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Men. Thy sins are forgiven thee, right? And that's what Yahweh Shai seen their faith, man. Okay? Yeah, that, this thing is all about faith, brothers. It's all about faith. Okay? And he said, this is what the, this is what the apostles, let check this out, Luke 17 and 5, it says, And the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. That's what he said, he said, increase our faith. So that goes back. So what I was talking about in Matthew, the sixth chapter, in about around... I started at about around the 22nd verse, I think it was. And I read down to the 30th verse and all the way down where he was saying, increase your faith. And that's why he said, oh, ye of little faith. Okay. You see? All right. Luke 17 and 6, it says, and the Lord said, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye might say unto the sycamore tree, uh, unto the sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and ye should, and it shall obey you. All right. 
see so now let's go let's go down here let's go down here let's see Right. Okay. Here you go. Acts three and sixteen. And he and his name through faith, and his it says and his name through faith and his name have made this man strong, whom ye see and know ye that uh, the faith which is by him have given him the perfect soundness in the in the presence of you all. Right. This is all about faith. See right here. Acts six and eight. This is Stephen. Right. It says in Stephen or Stephen. It says, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. You see? Okay. All right. Acts 14 and 9, it says, the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be, faith to be healed. Right? Okay. Now, this is this right here. Acts 14 and 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right? It says that they, that we, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. That's it's all about faith. We got to go through tribulation. Okay? You got to have faith to make it through. All right? Okay? All right, let's see here. Let's see some more here. All right, yep, Romans 1 and 17, and this is what I read up earlier, all right, with Habakkuk. It says, for therein the righteous of the Most High revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. There you go. Okay, just shall live by faith. Yeah, here you go, Romans 3 and 22, it says, even the righteous of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shadi and Mashiach unto all and upon all that believe, for there is no difference. Okay. All right. All right, so let's go down. All right. Romans 4 and 20, it says, He staggered not at the promise of the Most High through faith, through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to the Most High. All right? It says, therefore, Romans 5 and 1, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shadi of Mashiach. So there you have it. So now let's get down to some other scriptures. All right? It says, uh, First Corinthians 2 and 5, it says that your faith should not stand in, in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. It says, uh, all right, let's go down here. All right, First Corinthians 13 and 2, it says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and through, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains, I, you know what, now, nah, I don't want that one. That's not the one I want. That's not the one I want. This is the one I want right here. All right, here it is right here. First Corinthians 16 and 13, it says, Watch ye steadfast in, in the faith, quiet ye like men, all right, and be strong. Okay? Second Corinthians 1 and 24, it says, Not for that we have dominion over you, faith, but one help, but our helpers of your joy, for by faith ye stand. Right? For by faith ye stand. Okay? Okay, here it is. First, Second Corinthians 4 and 13, it says, We have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe and therefore I have spoken, and we also believe and therefore speak. 
2 Corinthians 5 and 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. And that's what the beginning of that video in the book of Eli with Denzel Washington and this girl was walking and she and he said to her, I walk by faith, not by sight. All right. So pretty much there you have it. So let me get one more scripture. There's a whole lot of scriptures on faith, man. There's an abundance of scriptures on faith, but the scripture that I really want to end it. All right. Oh, hold on. First Timothy, first Timothy uh, three and nine, it says holding the mystery of faith and pure conscience. Right. Holding the mystery of faith and pure conscience. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So but this this is the one that I really want, which is in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews eleven and one. And this will end it right here. It says, now faith is the substance of things, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right. So there you have it, right? See? I got another one real quick. Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So there you go. All right. So there you have it right there. And then there's a whole lot of testimonies in the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter. Okay, we're, we're by faith. All right. So you know what that, brothers? I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arakal Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and well. Peace and blessings and citation to the hopeful elect, the Bayak, Dawadah, the house of David. Shalom, brothers, till next time. Ba'ba, ba'ba.